What's up guys? Today we're looking at the new Kerpaloo Signature Series drums. It's a contact library put out by Room Sound. It's recorded in Kerpaloo's studio. It's a powered by contact library, which means that it will run without restrictions in the free contact player. And of course, with contact five. Full disclosure, I did not buy this library. It was given to me by Room Sound for review. Thank you to Brandon as Hire for making the connection and making that happen for me. Really appreciate it. We're looking at contact in its compact view. Just click this button here and it brings up the library and all the other things. Kit selection. Click on a drum kit piece and you can choose a different kit piece. Multiple different snares, multiple different kick drums, toms, cymbals. There are also several presets set up already. I recommend using the multi option. There are seven different presets. The all zero preset is what we have loaded right now. And I also have the full mic bleed option, which basically doubles the amount of samples that are loaded. When you hit the snare, you're getting the snare bleed in the kick mic. So all mics are active whenever you hit any of the drums. So it's, it's a much more realistic uh, feel. And it's a, what are the great things about this library that it has that kind of detail in it? As I said, it does double the amount of samples loaded. So playing a drum beat takes up about 500 voices. It's kind of crazy, but it sounds great. And it's really realistic. In addition to the kit selection page, we also have the mixer where we have a mixer up at the top. We can select any of them and choose the amount of EQ, compression, saturation, and reverb. These effects are built into contact, but with the settings tweaked the way that Kurt likes. Um, so we have that for kick in, kick out, kick sub, snare top, bottom, four toms, hat, ride, overheads, near room, and far room. We can send into a convolution reverb, and the impulse is one of Kurt's favorite reverbs. So you get the sounds that he would use himself drum sounds that he would produce in his own studio. The library also comes with a large selection of MIDI grooves with grooves from Converge songs, Converge's Kurt's band, blast beats, double time beats, normal time beats, half time beats, and a bunch of fills in normal time with a crash, crash ride, hats, ride, ride bell. And you just double click any of these to load them and then click play. And so the drum sounds you get with this library are really raw, a well-produced kit, but not an overproduced, highly processed kit. Um, so it sounds really realistic, easy to work with, really inspiring to play along with. So the demo song I have here, it's myself playing guitar along with Alejandro, who you might know from AH Music on YouTube. He's playing the, uh, I think it's the seven string guitar along with me. All the drum beats are grooves that come with this library. So they're all uh, dropped into Reaper to create a song. We just jammed over it. Once again, this is the all zero kit. If we look in the mixer, there's nothing going on as far as processing for the drums other than volume changes and panning. So this is all flat from the library.
All right, so there's a little taste of how it sounds in a mix. Really not even a mix because there's no processing on these drums. There's nothing going on in Contact's mixer and nothing going on in Reaper's mixer. Now there are different presets that do include processing. So if we open up the library and the multis, there are seven presets here. Drag these onto the uh, multi library. We'll give you this option. No, we'll merge it, which creates a, a second instrument. Yes, we'll replace it, but it will keep your routing, which is very important. And I'm going to hit cancel here because I've already printed a few uh, different kits in advance so that we don't have to wait for that loading. It is quite a long wait for the loading because there's so many samples that have to load into RAM. Might just be my computer, but it seems exceptionally slow. Strangely, loading a track template in Reaper loads almost instantly with all the samples already loaded. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't think it's a complaint with this library, but more of a complaint with contact. And if you want to take advantage of that in Reaper, uh, just load these up and then save your track template. I'm including a track template, this one that I'm using now, which is basically the all zero kit and then um, all my tracks already routed right click in an empty area of the track control panel or on any track, insert track from template, wherever you saved it to, instruments folder or just this flat list here and you go to Kirk Blue multi flat. And that will give you basically this sound that we have here provided you by the library. I've done a little preparation in advance, just like a cooking show. So this is the God City drum kit preset. All right, so that's the God City kit. Up next is the heavy metal kit. All right, and finally we have the straight up kit. This is another one of Kerpaloo's custom mixes for this library, enjoy. So there you go, a few different examples of how this contact library sounds. Um, as I said before, it's a really enjoyable library to use. Contact is a bit of a pain to set up with the multi-channel routing, but I'm including my uh, Reaper preset for you, which will save you some time uh, if you are a Reaper user. 
I'm also including the the note map that I created for this library. I have a video on using note maps, so check that out if you're interested. Those two things, the track template and the MIDI note names file are included with my subscriber downloads. I'll have a link in the description to where you can get that. So if you're a Reaper user and a Kurt Ballou signature series drums library user, then you can take advantage of that. Save yourself a lot of time and uh, get going with this library a lot quicker than was my experience. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please check out Room Sound for their Kurt Ballou signature series drums and other sample libraries for contact. There are links in the video description and on the website for all of this stuff that I've mentioned. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.